When I saw that Stardew Valley was getting a hopper, I got really excited because I know what the hopper is capable of in games like Minecraft. You can create these very complex setups that introduce a huge amount of automation, which got me really excited until I gave the hopper a try. Unfortunately, it doesn't work how we would hope. It can only put items into a machine and by doing that, it automatically starts the processing process. However, it cannot take the processed item out of the machine, meaning you will still need to manually collect the finished goods. And then the hopper will automatically place the items back into the machine for processing again. So, just based on that, we can't really create real automatic processes, like fill up a hopper with milk and come back the next day with a huge amount of processed milk. Unfortunately, player intervention is required for the hopper to properly work. The hopper can be used to fill any machine with raw materials to start the processing process. For example, it can put milk into a cheese maker to turn it into cheese, and you can put fruit into a cake to turn it into wine, and then put the wine into a cost to age it. I think the hopper works best with items that have a relatively short processing time, like mayonnaise and cheese. If it takes too long to process something, like wine takes a week, it is just not worth it. You can also use the hopper to fill furnaces that need ore and coal. But I wasn't going to let that stop me from finding a use for the hopper. If you are like me, you might have a ton of animals on your farm with auto grabbers in their buildings. And often, I just forget to process their animal products, so over time, I accumulated a very large quantity of animal products. In my coop full of rabbits, I have more than 400 wool. That will probably come in handy. Hopefully the hopper can assist me with this. You might be asking me why I have a coop full of rabbits. Well, I am trying to get a ton of rabbits feet. I want to see how easy it is to grind rabbits feet and complete the 50 love gifts key quest using only rabbits feet. In my barn full of cows, I probably have a total of 800 milk in a bunch of different qualities. 800 milk. When am I going to make time to turn all of that into cheese? Probably never, but maybe. The hopper might have a use after all. And in my last coop, filled with chickens and a single rabbit, I have about 600 eggs. 600 eggs. These chickens are doing their job, but I am slacking and turning it into mayonnaise. Well, that ends today. First I need some hoppers, as many hoppers as I can make. To get the recipe for hoppers, you will need to buy it from Mr. Key's Golden Walnut Room for 50 key gems. Yeah, the recipe is not cheap. And to craft it, you will need 1 radioactive bar, 10 hardwood, and 1 iridium bar. The hardwood and the iridium bars aren't that tough to get. Just explore the secret forest or plant mahogany trees to collect hardwood. And dive into the skull cavern for some iridium ore. Radioactive ore is another story altogether. I think the easiest way to get radioactive ore is to complete the Danger in the Deep quest for Mr. Key and enter the dangerous mines on floor 100 plus. Make sure to come on a very good luck day and bring luck buffing food and drink. Then hope you find some radioactive ore. I think I spent an entire in-game day trying to get a lot of radioactive ore, but I only managed to get about 70, so it is definitely more rare than iridium. At the least, only two items currently needed to be crafted, but maybe in future updates we might need more of the stuff. So, for my experience with the hopper, I think they are only useful if you have many of them, and if you place them really close to your house or close to somewhere that you find yourself walking around often. For me, I might put it right by the entrance to my house, so when I wake up, I can simply collect all of the processed items, drop it in a chest, and continue on with my day. Let's have a quick look at how I use the hoppers on a regular day on my farm. So I started off by collecting all of the items, then headed to Ginger Island to accept a new key quest. Damn, the upgraded Skull Cavern quest? That is a tough one. Wish me luck. By the time I arrived back at my main farm, 
the hoppers were ready for me again. Simply collect all of the processed goods and continue doing stuff on your farm. Let's harvest all of my pineapples in my shed. These pineapples have been a great investment and I would recommend them to anyone wanting to make some big money. We can quickly put these pineapples into some kegs in this other shed. We need to maximize profit after all. I heard that preservation bins are slightly more valuable than regular quality wine. But then the wine takes the perfect amount of time. So when I harvest my pineapples, the wine is always ready to be replaced. After putting the pineapples into wine, the hoppers are done again. And then I collect all of the processed goods again. So you can see by using the hoppers, I can do a bunch of stuff on my farm and come back every so few hours and just collect the processed goods. I do think that this saves me quite a bit of time, especially since I have so many machines that require different raw materials. I think if I had to manually fill all of these machines with the appropriate raw materials, it would eat quite a bit of time out during the day. The hopper allows you to set it up once and then just run past and easily collect the items, thereby saving you time to do other stuff. It is quite unfortunate that the hoppers don't work as we expected it to. I can just imagine the possibilities and the fun learning curve of creating fully automated processes, but this is as good as it gets with the hopper. <laughs> Unless you have a huge excess of raw materials that you want to process, I would probably suggest not investing in the hopper. It costs a massive 50 key gems to get the recipe and grinding radioactive ore is quite the chore. Maybe if a future update changes how the hopper works or a reverse hopper gets added that can take the processed items out of the machine. Maybe then the hopper can be useful and we can really play around with it. But the hopper in the current state will probably just save you a little bit of time. So after a couple of days of using the hopper, let's see how much processed goods I have. That is quite impressive. There is a ton of stuff in here. Hmm, I should probably sell it to see if all of that effort of setting up the hoppers was worth it. An impressive amount of gold indeed. But of course, this wouldn't have been possible if I wasn't a hoarder of animal products. If you still want a hopper that is more like a hopper in Minecraft, and if you're playing Stardew on PC, there is a mod called Automate that you should check out. It will allow you to automate pretty much any process in a very easy way. I would still have preferred if the hopper could be used for automation, but it was tricky to use and we had to figure it out. But the automate mod is there if you want to use it. The link to the automate mod is in the description below. I have recently been playing around with some mods for Stardew Valley, but I am most definitely a mod newbie. If you know of any fun cool mods, let me know in the comments below. I love how the developer has allowed such easy mod support, and I hear that the modding community in Stardew Valley is quite dedicated. So far, I have only used the vodka mod, but there are so many, it's kind of hard to pick. Thank you so much for watching this video. What do you think of the hopper? Do you think you will use it on your farm? Or maybe you're already using it. If you know other useful ways of using it, please let me know in the comments below. And as always, I will see you in the next video.